Hello guys, Ask Anastasia again and I'm gonna show you different house today. This is not a rental property. This is actually one of my clients from California is moving here and we just made an offer on this house um, and it got accepted. So I just want to show you different price range. So just to get general idea about houses, prices in Cincinnati. This is a backyard. This is an inspector who is doing inspection. This neighborhood has really good schools. And that's why prices here are a little high. And um, they have a concern about uh, foundation of houses moving. So we're gonna find out from the report. It has huge driveway. This street, it's somehow busy, but it's nine o'clock in the morning right now. So you can see it's not a lot of cars, right? Okay, and it has two entrances, but we're gonna go through the garage because garage is opened. Okay, so this is entrance and I don't know how you want to call it, like hole. Probably you can put closet there and it has access to the backyard. Some table, interesting. And from here we are getting into the kitchen. Kitchen is somehow small, I would say, but it's still um, you can put fridge here, you can cook, but probably you cannot put a table here. And this is the living room. Probably dining area and living room. And it has second entrance from here. So if you enter from here, it's going to be one room, second room, and I believe we have a couple bedrooms here. Yeah, this is bedroom number one. There's some closets, they're not big, but at least it's two closets here, and second bedroom. And we have one restroom here, which need to be updated a little. Oh, some storage space. I am not sure what is here, closet. And this is basement, we're gonna go there later on. So on the first floor we have two bedrooms. And we are going to the second floor. It has a bathroom here. And I was looking for a light, not sure where it is. It's great for kids, they like this kind of rooms. <clears throat> Second bedroom. And storage, I would say. So, two bedroom upstairs, two bedroom downstairs. And another closet. But it has huge basement. <clears throat> I know that my clients, they have kids and they want to make sure that they have enough space for kids to play. So let me show you basement. It's semi-finished. So um, I'm sure kids can play here. Or it can be used as another bedroom. You probably need to address the floor issue. It's kind of... 
I don't see a huge problem, but um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the floor, it's kind of going that direction. And usually when people close walls, um, I cannot say that they're hiding something, but we cannot see conditions of the walls and we don't know if it's going to be an issue with the foundation or not. I always recommend to hire an inspector because they know much more about this. And this is another room in a basement. Laundry. Again, I don't know how to show, but floors are not straight. And this is utility room. This, <clears throat> that look, not brand new, but pretty new. This is um, heater and AC system. Water heater look new. So, so you can see plenty of rooms in the basement. Storage. You probably you can see it that it, it's not great condition of the house, but you can move in and slowly do the upgrades as you want. And this house was listed for sale for two hundred thousand. Still, if you are putting twenty percent down payment, your mortgage payment probably gonna be twelve to fifteen hundred, depending on your credit score. It's beautiful, and the weather is nice today. So, would you like to move here? Probably not, huh? <laughs>